When shows and movies are hot on trending, it's prime time for actors to get some publicity. The Addams Family spinoff Wednesday on Netflix has everything. High school drama, goth chicks, a hilarious dance sequence, and Jenna Ortega, horror's newest darling. Jenna's only 20, but she absolutely captured the hearts of weird girls everywhere. Here's a little insight into what went into her titular role as Wednesday Addams. Let's get into the video. First up, did Jenna Ortega really not blink during a single scene? We almost thought we were imagining it, but in an interview on the Today Show, Jenna said, quote, We, her and the director Tim Burton, established it pretty early on, she doesn't blink. Since Wednesday's iconic stare is supposed to be off-putting and Tim Burton doesn't like people blinking in his movies anyway, the unmoving deadpan was honestly brilliantly done. To achieve the ultimate level of freaky, Jenna explained how she loosened her facial muscles and dipped her chin to stare people down and tipped it up whenever the glare had to relax. Honestly, no one could have played this character better. According to the official Netflix Twitter account, quote, after trying one take where she didn't blink, Tim Burton was so enamored with the result he told Jenna Ortega not to blink anymore when playing Wednesday, so she didn't. It was a coincidence the first time a scene was shot and Jenna just happened not to blink at all when the camera was on her. Tim Burton loved it and he wanted more, so do we, Tim. Tim added that he doesn't like blinking anyways. He doesn't even like hearing the word. This is true for a few other of his films too, where characters tend to blink very little. It's super funny that the director for all things weird finds something as normal as blinking unsettling, but it's true. Quote, I don't know why, even when you're mentioning it now, it freaks me out. Jenna says it got both annoying and super difficult keeping it up, especially because if she blinked, she would always ask for a retake. But she quickly learned to do her blinking during other people's lines. Pure genius. And it's impressive how dedicated she is to her work. Wednesday just isn't your typical girl. Blinking? Beneath her, to be honest, with her psychic powers and odd mannerisms, like never discussing her feelings, ever, she's just different, but a good different. Plus, the unmoving stare just made it all the more significant when Wednesday did blink in the show, for example, the heartwarming scene when she hugs a need in the eighth and final episode of season one, a murder of woes, a wonderful little detail reminding the rest of us that in the end, that she's human, well, a super-powered, super-cool, super-creepy human, but she's human nonetheless. An icon like that truly deserves the kind of meticulous detail both actress and director devoted to the role. If you've seen the series, you'll know that she only smiles once in eight episodes. Following up, Jenna says she really connected with the role. Remember the girl from first grade who was super scary and thought blood was cool? That was Jenna Ortega. In one interview, she recounts how she used to perform autopsies on animals she found in her backyard, and don't worry, they were already dead. She talks at length about how she's always been a deadpan, sarcastic person and how she'd always get compared to Wednesday. Obviously, she was really excited when she actually got to play the character. Wednesday Adams is an icon for weird girls everywhere, and Jenna counts herself as one. She mentions how aside from the creepy animal dissection, she's just always felt attracted to horror media. Initially, she used gory films to get over being a scaredy cat. Now, she loves the work. Quote, I think we find each other, she says. There's some invisible string that's connected to serial killers, monsters, creatures, and myself. No matter where I go, I feel like it's something that's always been attractive to me since I was younger, something I was always into. It's what feels right to me, and it tends to be the scripts I'm into. Whatever works for you, Jenna. As long as she keeps making crazy good cinema, we're okay with her emo past and connection to monsters. Now, let's look at some of the Wednesday energy outfits she's worn recently. Jenna Ortega's probably the best thing that's happened to goth fashion since Winona Ryder. Since the show's been streaming, it feels like every time we go on Twitter, we see a new fantastic look from our current star girl. Her style isn't usually as gothic, and it's not unusual to find her in soft, pretty colors and casual style clothes. But she rules in black. That was probably in the role's requirements. For the show's press tour, Jenna channels Wednesday in a cool, chic way that catches our eye no matter what kind of carpet she's on, all thanks to her stylist, Enrique Melendez. There are a few events where she wears bright pink, but we'll just skip those. Her character wouldn't like that. Here are a few of Jenna's recent outfits that would truly make Wednesday Adams proud. Starting with number seven, the Dolce & Gabbana black suit. Starting off with the suit and coat, Jenna looked super stylish on the Today Show with a thick suit jacket on top and the loose flowy trousers paired with silver heels. We thought she'd make the best boss, Jenna for president. Sort of schoolgirl inspired, it was the most professional looking and also the most similar to Wednesday's original outfit. There's a cute little bag too and she holds a 
plain medical face mask while she waved at the cameras like a gothic Princess Diana. Even in super expensive outfits, she reminds us she's just a normal girl and plain face masks are the cheapest. Next, number 6 is a Valentino mini dress. Jenna is such a star at the 2022 MTV Movie and TV Awards, and an adorable mini dress and jewels from Tiffany & Co, we just couldn't stop staring at her. The little black dress never fails, off the shoulders, super sharp and cute, her necklace really accentuates that cut, also she's so attached to those heels. We didn't love this look at the beginning, but she looks so stunning it grew on us, and it's definitely major Wednesday energy, especially with the intimidating vibe she gives off at the carpet. Then for number 5, the Valentino suit, at the 25th SCAD Savannah Film Festival, Jenna looked cool as you please in a white-breasted black pantsuit that flared loose. The definition of business casual. We love this one for the corset under the jacket and the golden hoop earrings, Jenna's stylist definitely knows how to accessorize. You'll find there's a lot of Valentino on this list, Jenna is a representative for the brand and she looks fantastic in all their looks. At number 4 we have the Lace Valentino. At the Valentino 2023 fashion show in Paris, Jenna showed up in this amazing lacy number and the absolute coolest accessories. Her shiny raven ring caught our eye in particular. So Wednesday. She layered it with a long leather coat and looked really happy to be there. Her heels were so tall we worried she'd wobble for a second, but Jenna walked with class and grace. The trending, matching Valentino platforms are usually sold out in pink, but true to character, Jenna's were glossy black. Not to mention number 3, the Dion Lee naked dress. The pictures that drove the whole internet crazy, Jenna was so gorgeous in this dress with the whole left side cut and those fabulous heels. Paparazzi pictures of the actress outside Jimmy Kimmel Live looked magazine print worthy, a dark emo angel with hilariously normal white wire headphones, representation matters. With the dark red lipstick and once again high heels because Jenna Ortega is a short queen, the Dion Lee dress would have been number one on this list if we were ranking for beauty. Then for number two, the Saint Laurent sheer dress, Jenna wore this to the Critics' Choice Association's second annual celebration of Latino cinema and television, and she looked fantastic. Her style is very cool girl, and this one definitely emulated that energy. Amongst all the other gothic lacy outfits, this stunning sheer dress just stands out. Fabric gathering snugly all the way to her fingers on the right side of her body. She looks so beautiful and so confident in St. Laurent, a Latina icon. Finally, at number one is the Versace gothic wedding look. This is the look that really cemented her as it girl of the month. Jenna wore the gothic bridal look from Versace's 2023 runway outfits at the international premiere of Wednesday, and she blew our minds. With a crinkled waist and a ripped lace slit, not to mention that fabulous black veil, she looked like a true Tim Burton star. There's really no doubt about it, after seeing her keep up the unblinking Kubrick stare throughout her entrance, no one could play Wednesday like this total superstar. And that's a wrap for this video, are you all excited to see Jenna Ortega in another amazing horror movie? Which of her Wednesday vibes outfits did you love the most? Let us know in the comments below, and while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like it. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.